Welcome back to Monday's edition of The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Always enjoy my good friend, Brian Spitz. He's with a great company, BigStateHomeBuyers.com, regular uh, feature here on The Price of Business. Plus, he has awesome podcasts that he does over there at BigStateHomeBuyers.com, official Price of Business podcast. And uh, delighted, though, that when you can bring your stories that you uh, have talked about at uh, on your web platform uh, that you can bring them here to the studios. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much for having us. It's nice to be here and introduce some valuable people to your audience. You bet. Uh, tell us a, a little bit more about Big State and then introduce your guest for us today. Sure. Big State Home Buyers is an A-plus rated uh, with the Better Business Bureau um, award-winning home buying company here in Houston. And what we do is we buy properties directly from home owners. We pay cash, we fix title problems, fix estate issues, uh, close very quickly, and we buy from in- inherited properties and we buy in divorce situations and just people who just need to sell quickly or want to sell without listing. And yeah, wh- and it brings new meaning to the old expressions, we buy ugly houses, not just the houses, it's the right. circumstances surrounding those houses. Right, it is. <laughs> it so, is, and so, they're not. They're not all. They're not all ugly, actually. Yeah, that's so, right. Um, so we help people. That's really a focus of our service, which is different than our competition. And so one of the main reasons that people will sell us a property is because they've either inherited it or the family member is aging out of the house. And so that's why we like to bring resources uh, for our clients. Uh, that might be in that situation. And today we are bringing with us uh, Deborah Moore, who's the director of the Harris County Area Agency on Aging. Very good, Deborah. Welcome to the program. And, and I, for one, I love what you do over there at Big State. Big, I'm, I'm kind of a walking uh, poster uh, poster boy for you guys. Thank so you. love what you do. And Deborah, thanks for coming in. And, and you, you deal with, uh, you know, one of the, the biggest growing challenges for our entire society is the rapid uh, growth in terms of the aged, uh, aged population. Um, I'm on the very young end, barely on the cusp of baby boomers, but my uh, fellow generation is, is a, a lot further along, you know, and one third of the population is baby boomers, and there's still, still some of the greatest generation left and a lot of the silent generation left. So a huge portion of our population is aged, so it's a huge challenge. That's absolutely right. Thank you so much for having me here today. Um, you're you're right. Uh, baby boomers are aging. Uh, there are ten thousand baby boomers that are turning sixty years of age are every day. Mm-hmm. That's ten thousand. What we identify as older adults at sixty, you are classified as an older adult according to the federal government. So ten thousand baby boomers are turning sixty daily. That's a lot of individuals that are aging into uh, possibly the need for some of the services that are provided through the Area Agency on Aging. Uh, at the Harris County Area Agency on Aging, we our primary purpose is to provide services to individuals that will allow them to remain in their homes and in their communities for as long as it is healthy and safe. We typically provide, I, I, you've probably heard of Meals on Wheels. Yes. Well, we fund Meals on on Wheels throughout Harris County. We typically fund 4,000 meals a day for individuals uh, with several contractors throughout Harris County. We also provide congregate meals in many of the senior centers around Harris County. So uh, actually, on average, we provide 6,500 meals a day. Mm, wow. That's a lot of meals to feed a lot of older adults. But in addition to Meals on Wheels, we also fund services for older adults that are in need of possibly health maintenance services such as vision screening, hearing screening, dental screening. And if they're in need of the screening and then in also in need of devices to assist them in living in their homes, such as eyeglasses, hearing aids, or dental services, we contract with providers throughout Harris County to provide those services for them as well. Uh, we do all of this uh, at no cost to the older adult, and there are no income guidelines. It's just a matter of the older adult not being able to actually uh, have the resources 
to bring those services into their home. Uh, we are funded through the Administration for Community Living, which is federal funding that we receive to uh, use that funding to enhance the quality of living for older adults in Harris County. Yeah, well, that is quite a, a thorough uh, calling, if you will. Brian, your question? Well, I think that it's just interesting that I, I don't think a lot of people know that this service is here. Um, so first, I would ask you to tell us how we can reach uh, reach you if we need help. If older adults or their family members want to reach us, they can call our intake number, which is 832-393-4301. They can uh, give us a call and just ask for additional information or actually ask for counseling. We have uh certified counselors that can assist them because often they may not know what they need, but our counselors can assist them in making those decisions. Yeah. By the way, to this morning, if you want to see an even lengthier interview, you know, uh, you went you went pretty deep in an interview over there at Big State Home Buyers, uh, BigStateHomeBuyers.com. Just click the b- b- blog on the navigation there. You scroll down, and just about the fourth or fifth, uh, depending on what you add, have added since, uh, article on there, and it's really thorough, both in writing as well as a video. Very good stuff, by the way. Go ahead. Well, I guess one of the questions that I would have is, what do you see some of the common challenges are quickly for people who are caretakers who reach out to you? Uh, One of the most common challenges for individuals that are uh, giving care to their loved ones is that they often fail to take care of themselves. Mm-hmm. They get so uh, involved with taking care of their loved one that they neglect their own health and their own well-being. And we do provide respite services so that we will actually send someone in the home so that that caregiver can step away and take, do the things that they need to take care of themselves. Yeah, Great. very good. Great guest. I appreciate you uh, bringing this guest for us here today, Brian. Uh, Brian Spitz, of course, he can be reached over there at Big State Home Buyers. And from there, I would say going to the blog, that would be the best way to learn more about Deborah Moore. Uh, you know, you just go to the blog, and you can find a link uh, over there to the uh, her offices. And thanks to both of you for a great interview. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. When we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here, it shows up over there at USDataReview.com, and this is The Price of Business.